what's going on guys, it's what's driving here and welcome back to my channel and we're here yet again on the crew for another car from the new DLC and I can't wait to drive this because this is one of the three cars that I've been most excited to drive like the Alfa Romeo I drove yesterday or the day before and now this is the next one so we're going to go into the Perf Tuner and customise this thing Alright guys, we're here in the Perf Tuner and we're going to set the Perf Kit for this car. Level 40, the best it can be, all the time, all every day. That made so much sense. Okay, ooh, those rims. Those rims, ooh, nice build. Again, nice build. I've always liked this. Oh, okay. Then if you saw that, the rims on the little picture there were different to the actual ones that were on the car. They're on the car now. I don't know what that was about. Anyway, let's get straight into it. So. I, unfortunately, I have seen a video of the customization of this, and it didn't give you many options, so I'm not really expecting loads, but the car itself already just looks amazing, so I don't really need much. This car doesn't really, is, is stock this way anyway, so there's not much customization you can do. Okay, right, though. So what's that done? Okay, I think that just took part of the bumper off, so I'm going to leave that stock. Let's have a look at the rear. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna have that one. That's nice. And I guarantee there are no front fenders. And there are no rear fenders, they're never gonna have them. Skirts. Ooh, uh. I don't really see, I don't really see much difference. Carbon, oh, that's color, one's car. Okay, yeah. Let's go with the colored one. Rims. We're gonna stick with the originals, because they're nice. Side mirrors. There's literally, okay, I realise literally that one of them's carbon, one of them isn't. And because the other one, the other parts of the car haven't got carbon, I'm going to not have carbon on that one as well. So the rear wing, ooh, yes. Yes. I love that wing. It's pretty much the same one that's on the Alfa Romeo. Yeah. Definitely that one. And then a hood, I don't, not a fan of carbon hoods, but let's have a look what it looks like. No. Yeah, no. I really don't like carbon hoods. Okay, so colour. Do we have official colours? We do not. So, we're going to have a look through it. And I, I like the white, but I feel like we should change it. Hmm. I don't know, the white and the black on this thing. Mind you, actually. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look. No. Ionised. Ah, oh, I'm not sure. Actually, that kind of does look nice. Wait, what about if I just go back to metallic and go on the greys. Oh, you, I don't know. I like the white. Do you guys like the white? Oh, I'm gonna, I might actually keep the white, I think. Okay, so you can't have any stickers for this car. Okay, yeah, and then finally the interior. Can we do anything? Okay, so this car is just like pretty much stock. But I like it. I like the way it looks. Okay, so we're going to go into... No, we're not actually, because I want to test something. Now, usually when I do these reviews, I just go and test them, go drive them. But since this is the C63, I want to try and make it into a sort of drift car. So, I've heard my sources tell me that if you go over to the tyres, and then if I put them down here, it gives us less grip. It does give us less speed and stuff, but I want to make it into, into a drift car, so I'm going to take, I'm going to buy that. Uh, also, with the, it's the weight reduction. Okay, so I can buy all these parts and make the car better. Um, wow, we've got a lot of parts. Okay, let's go down. So that takes the grip down, the braking down, the acceleration down, which I don't mind. But let's have a look. Weight differential, what does that do? I can't remember the specific things it takes down. No, that just takes acceleration down again. No, it's not going to be suspension. Actually, let's have a look. I think it doesn't even take... It just takes the... Oh, actually. Yeah, let's do that. And then the brakes. Let's have a look at the grip it takes down. Oh my god, I have a lot of brakes. Okay, so there's no point the brakes. Okay, um, 
weight reduction. We'll do weight reduction, and then that's it. Yeah, and then we're gonna go dry this, and we're gonna go and try and drift it. Let's go. Alright guys, we are in the mountain states and we are here to see if this thing slides. And I cannot wait to drive this and it already is wow look at that already. Okay, so this road down here is quite a good road I feel. I've driven this road before, before my map got reset, which is quite annoying. So we're gonna try and drift this. Now we're not out of the bit yet. But it okay, you can already see it's sliding like mad. So oh my god. This thing is impossible. Okay. Right, let's try this. Remember, remember this is a perf spec car. People only think you can drift in dirt spec and that's just not the case. If you do these things with the tuning, then you're alright. People always thought that drift, drift, oh my god, I think I just, yeah, drift spec, wow. Dirt spec, um, they always thought that dirt spec was the only one you can really do drifts in. But if you go into perf spec and make those changes in the uh, tuning, then it should be alright. Now here we go, this is the road I was looking for. Okay, and I'm not, oh don't hit the, oh you know, I'm not even going to attempt to do that one there. Okay, let's go. Come on. Okay. I swear, I don't know. Come on, right, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know what to think of this. It's it's ter it like slides really early, but then you can't hold it. Like look, I'll look it's slide oh that was alright actually. Going through there. I'm gonna slide around this corner, slide around this corner. No, it's not really sliding, is it? It's strange. Okay, that was that was okay. Right, I'm gonna go back up the top. This is the road, by the way, if you want to see. It's all oh, it's here. It's quite a good road actually for drifting if you can actually manage to do it. That is, unlike me, as you can see at the moment. I'm just such a pro, you know. Such a pro. And there's little yellow things, hot air balloons. I think. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, these are hot air balloons, and I don't think that. Yeah, they just stay there. They just don't, they've never moved. They're always there. Okay, let's go. Yeah, look, they're up there. American one and look, look, what looked like sort of a Jamaican one. Jamaican me crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was actually kind of decent. Okay. Let's attempt this. Try to see these cars. Now, if that were car wasn't there, that would have been alright, but. Goddamn pedestrian drivers. One off that before. I like on the crew though that you can they can actually you can see like what you do before. Like because you probably see yeah, I see a mark on that left just there that just went past. That was there before when I just drove down a minute ago. I like how it stays there for quite a while. Right, let's go this corner. Come on, hold it. There we go. Straight into this corner. Yes, there we go, don't hit that. Yes. See? It's definitely possible with practice. This car will be would be a good drift car. Not a lot of grip, quite fast, and it listens to the engine as well. Oh yes, we've got. Look at that. Look at that. That's that's just. Uh, I think that we've got more more the hang of it now. As I said, that as I hit the wall. Now nah, I think it was a pro wall tap that was. Yeah, look at this. Okay, that was just so fun. I have to do that again now. Wow, yeah guys, I seriously, I am serious right now, if, I recommend you come and do this, because that was just so fun. Oh wow, I so have to make more videos on this, that was so fun. Spawn with the right way go game, god damn it. There's so many cops on this road, what the hell? Okay. Uh, compared to the first time I did this, just look at it, this is so cool, oh my god. God, we're going so sideways. Making these cha making those changes in the tuner probably makes a massive difference. Okay, 
Oh, that was... Oh, okay. We sort of wall tap. Well, nearly wall tap then. Yeah, wall tap is a thing. It's a thing, you know. Okay. How do you guys drift in this game? I hold square. Like, I, I know with, with certain cars, you can just go into the corner and they slide. Like, this one does. But, like, if I, you, I press square now and you can see it's sort of turned. Oh god. Whoa, calm down, rock. Yeah, I, I, I kind of tap square, so if I'm not doing making it, I just I'll tap square and then go in. Anyway, I'm not going to keep doing that because I keep failing. So let's go. Let's get some a nice drift on this road. Last, last turn. Over the mud, jump. Drift around this corner. Oh, we've done a 360. That's to totally, totally a 360 drift there that I totally meant to do. I, I think, guys, I'm just too good at the game. I'm literally too good at the game. I think I'm just going to have to stop. Because if you don't stop, I'm just going to continue to impress everyone with my amazing skills. <laughs> so, guys, that is the end of this video. C63 AMG. What a car it is. I recommend you use this car. And the DLC comes out on Tuesday. Uh, yeah, tom no, not tomorrow. No, well, by the time I upload this, it'll probably be two days after. I really recommend you pick this up and go drifting with it because it is honestly so fun. So, guys, this has been Wise Driving with the C63, well, Mercedes C63 AMG. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.